In this video, I want to talk about Tay-Sachs disease, which of course is a sphingolipidosis. I'm particularly going to talk about the infantile onset form. There are juvenile and adult onset forms, but they are less severe. I'm not going to really talk about them here. Um, it's worth noting that the Tay-Sachs disease is more common in Ashkenazi Jews than it is in individuals from other backgrounds. But what's the deal with the disease? It's an autosomal recessive deficiency of beta hexosaminidase A, which is an enzyme that's important, uh, especially in its, as far as its presence in lysosomes, especially in the, the central nervous system. So what does that enzyme do? Well, if we scroll down a little bit here, and look at the pathophysiology. Um, this is all like the breakdown of uh, sphingolipids. Beta hexosaminidase A shows up right here. So it breaks uh, GM2 gangliosides into GM3 gangliosides by removing um, uh, an N-acetylgalactosamine. Okay, it removes N-acetylgalactosamine, and if that enzyme is deficient, then this reaction won't be happening or will be happening to a lesser extent. And what that's gonna cause is this these GM2 gangliosides to accumulate and that's gonna cause problems. So let's scroll back up here. Okay, so um, that beta hexosaminidase A removes N-acetylgalactosamine from GM2 ganglioside to give GM3 ganglioside. Um, so one of the key features is the accumulation of GM2 gangliosides, so that's pretty important there, okay? because they're not gonna be broken down. You're missing the enzyme that breaks them down. And when they build up, they are toxic to the neurons that they build up in. And these features typically present around three to six months of age. Um, so the accumulation of those gangliosides is important, those GM2 gangliosides, uh, as well as degeneration of the central nervous system that is rapid and progressive. That's a huge deal here in um, Tay-Sachs disease. And so this can result in ataxia, poor coordination. Uh, infants won't really be able to kind of like sit up or turn over or even crawl properly. Um, there would be cognitive impairment, retardation, seizures po are possible. There's also this idea of a startle response. These babies um, will be easily sort of uh, startled, okay? Um,